Hello everyone, Hello, we guys. are back now with more button check action for you, this time we're coming back with Street Fighter V, I'm your host GX Hero, and I'm uh, co-hosting here with Tuscan FGC. Hey guys, uh, it's really nice to be here and the event so far has been truly amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so many people, so many good games. Oh yeah, like... Uh, Damn, I, I really miss it. I really miss uh, all those great, uh, mm -hmm. great events. And finally, 2018, there's been a lot of great tournaments. Like, for example, uh, the Hessen Crash. Like, uh, the Sakura Fight Festa actually made a comeback. Yep. And uh, here we are at Button Check. We had Ruchai Rumble in Poland. Oh, that's yeah, too. that's true. Ruchai Rumble maybe was not, also amazing. Maybe not 90 people, but then we had about 60 for yeah, yeah, like something. 60, 60 so. yeah, for, for a Polish tournament, that's a big turnout, and we're very happy to, to be part of the team oh, yeah. there. That's now, true. now, we're having the, the very first uh, pair of players uh, prepare on the stream. Uh, again, to uh, remind you, the Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, we're going with the latest version with all the DLC characters, so uh, we can't really expect anything right now. Oh, we'll so, uh, so we do have Falke or not? Not yet. I, I think she's not tournament legit, oh, yeah. but that's global. Yeah, but that's global. So right now, hey, there we go, Street Fighter V, one of the most controversial patches <laughs> since the last most controversial patch in Street Fighter history. <laughs> I love the list of Zeku changes. I love it. I actually haven't really had the time or uh, like... I have no idea what they changed about him. But from what I've heard, he actually became at least a high tier. So yeah, th that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, basically, if you haven't uh, seen the list of changes, it's like some characters have five pages of changes. And then Zeku, who's actually complete trash tier and barely playable, gets two. <laughs> or something like that. Okay, so we have Streezy versus Roger. Yes, Streezy versus Roger. Zangi versus Nekali. So we have an OG vanilla matchup. Oh yeah, OG vanilla matchup. And I hope we're, we're gonna see this Nekali devour our hour that Zangi. Just right now he's comfortable pressing the button. Oh yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> like, Street Fighter V is kind of, it's like this kind of game, I guess, because it seems like it's only about pressing the buttons, but every button does carry weight. Yeah. So, and there we and Nice. Yeah, and with 3C we had a little bit of a scramble that ended in a successful SPD. And there we go, the V-Trigger one is active, it never goes off. And now Roger doesn't have uh, reversals. Oh yeah, that's true, but yep. well, with that, v, ah. with that V trigger and I think with his confidence in this match, how yep. he has been playing it so far, I think he really doesn't need them. That was a nice back step into a dash in, if I ever saw one. Oh yeah. Uh, but oh. here comes the comeback. Actually, Zangin di didn't go for damage, but he got grabbed. Yeah, got thrown for his trouble. So the first match you could see Roger going for very simple but effective tactics. Once he saw that his V skill just straight up hits, he didn't really have to do much else. Oh yeah, that's true. And here we can see great reactions from uh, Roger because, well, he didn't want to blo block that. You don't want to block that move from Zangi, but ooh! The stun Ladies fest. and gentlemen, we've got this stun and a perfect when the GIF machine starts rolling, it never stops. Yes. And it's a great opportunity to remind you that Stunfest 2018 is also happening. You might want to check that event out. Exactly. Oh, wow, that was a bad idea from Sweezy. Roger going in, great bait on that V-reversal. That move has a lot of range. Yep. Oh, and the whiffed SPD, that doesn't happen too often. Yeah, and there we go, footsies, we're playing footsies. <laughs> and and the first thing Streezy does after you mention that is just jump in with whatever. <laughs> Yo, x Collab grabs boys, let's go, bird wow. that meter in the corner. Yeah, there's a setup if... Uh, and an overhead. overhead right? And Roger takes the first game. Yep. So don't let anyone convince you that uh, an overhead like that with no follow-ups, no setups, no combo potential isn't good. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> and we're going right back to the second round. Yeah, but hey, both both players look actually very calm, very collected. 
Yeah, only um, it's crazy who has uh, the difficulty because, you know, Roger can stick out his visco and uh, Roger can also stick out his standing uh, heavy kick as he does right now. And it's hard for Zangief to go through it. I mean, this is true, like, the forward heavy punch, if I recall correct, correctly, with Zangief, one of his best moves to play in neutral. Yeah. We, we did see earlier in the match that Roger actually, he can react to it, he knows yeah. what to do, so one of the strongest GIF tools is actually kind of unusable right now. Yeah. And great entire from Sweezy. Goes in again. Into EX command drop. Streezy, Streezy really wants, yeah, he really wants those studs. Yeah, and uh, see, uh, that's the, <laughs> that's the potential issue with using this skill, is that if he dashes through it, you're in a very bad spot. Oh yeah, that's true. But here we go, yet another X command grab. We're burning the meter. And rightfully so, the round is almost over. Yeah, that's true. For both of them and... Oh my god, that was a clutch command grab. That's right. He's seen the occasion and he took it. Yeah. And you know, he needed like two punches, so command grab is doing a little bit of an overkill. Maybe that's all the more reason to go for it. Yeah, I, I think, well, may, it may be an overkill, like damage-wise, but it does set up. Yep. A certain mindset for the opponent that, hey, he is not afraid to use the command grab. Yeah, as with any grappler, you really want to establish the momentum. And here it's, we go. And Streets is getting mileage off of a running bear grab. Yeah, he's like, Zangief is a chainsaw and Streezy right now is pulling hard on that chain and oh, yeah. it's slowly starting. Yeah, there we go, X command grab. Stepping heavy hit. And there we go, yet another X command grab. And that's all it took. Yep. And Sweezy takes first takes first round for him. Yes. Show those muscles, Gif. Show those muscles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm 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 against over sexualization uh, in representing men in games. That's an issue worth pointing out. <laughs> uh, you can read more about that on my Tumblr. <laughs> that In the meantime, a... let's watch the match, uh, oh, because exactly. actually Streezy is getting back the momentum and Roger is sticking to his guns. Oh yeah, that's true. Like, right now, Ro Roger is still trying the same game plan, yep. because, well, it works. I think Roger right now thinks that, well, those were some mistakes that he yep. did, but yep. they weren't really related to the game plan, and right now, as we can see, it kind of works. Yep. And uh, already Roger is uh, having a big life lead, but getting reset and having Whoa, a Whoa! How did that even happen? You can grab the grab? Yo, that's, grabbing the grappler? That's the best feeling ever. If you throw a grappler, it's always so satisfying. <laughs> and only one hit is required of Roger. But yeah, he's... And a hit. And a hit. Yes. Oh! He perfectly reads uh, the horizontal jump. He perfectly reads the command grab with his horizontal oh, jump. Oh yeah, the X command grab. Uh, I actually noticed that uh, when Streezy plays, he gains the meter. And uh, when he has at least one stock, he really shifts to those X command grabs. Uh -huh. He is really, really hungry for, for those stuns and he knows that Zangief can deliver. Yep. Yo! Oh, and then the troll child. Command grab reads, everybody. Command grab reads. Right, so uh, Roger again backing out, trying to uh, establish that double back dash distance, something around that. Uh, Yo, the Z! The Z on Zangief stands for. Zangief. Running per grab. <laughs> and a standing age. So now Roger utilizing the bonuses that uh, the trigger gives him. Trying to get that one hit more only. Oh yeah, oh! Only he puts really? himself in a corner. That was a great fear reversal that actually ended the match. Yeah, wow! And, and we're moving straight to final round of the final match. Exactly, match point for both of our contenders, both from Austria. Yep. And we begin with Roger trying to yet again establish pressure 
but Sweezy oh. just burning that meter. Everybody burned the fight. Yeah. King um, of Fighters 14 just got a new patch. Everyone should play it. Back to Street Fighter 5. I'm very Roger sorry. Roger going for the EXTP full inf, of course. Worth it. And confirms. Oh, oh no! no. What about oh. decision? The scramble ends back in neutral. Roger gets into the game again. Yeah, no punish on the lift SPD, but still got Streasy to waste that meter. There we go, great this kill from Roger. Yep. He's trying to... He's so careful right now. Don't oh, yeah. Don't want to stick anything out. Oh! oh the Meaties! Meaty Fighter 5 the game. Score that hit. He did. Oh, he did. So... Now that we've seen the best of Streezy and Roger, we can safely wait for the next pair. And in the okay, meantime, Alex. here oh, you can Jesus. see Roger just jumping, jumping like he's okay, a gold Alex. warrior. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes you do have to do it, so yeah, it worked. Especially in the matchup <laughs> against Zangief, where jump is exactly. your only option that's really safe. But then again, Zangief has a lot of great anti-airs that put you in a huge disadvantage. Making all that I've just said null and void. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, ha I have to say that uh, Roger really used the air well. Yep. He, he knew where to jump, how to jump. It's like he's been playing some anime fight or, or, or something. something. Right. He knows the air footsies. He knows yeah. the air footsies. Yeah. And he's, and he's <laughs> feeling confident in his own command grabs, which is uh, a whole game in and of itself. Oh yeah, that's true. Nekali's co command grabs are really good because, yeah. well, they lead to damage, uh, they lead to great setups as we can see here. I mean, that's classic Zangief, right? You don't want to get grabbed. <laughs> Especially when you're the grappler. <laughs> yeah. We've got some more replays, start of the final round, and yeah, here and we see the great job. Like, look, the pressure established, it just got negated, yeah. just by meter. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, Streets' response uh, with just going for Roger armored running per grab, oh, yeah. just very smart. Yeah. Just going through the normal, absorbing the hit, and of course, oh, scoring the Oh boy, it's Abigail versus Nekali. Is it? I Is it really so. going to be Abigail against Nekali? I mean, are we gonna go vroom vroom, or are we gonna go brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Yeah, boys, so Germany versus Austria right now. And running, running, running just to get that trap. Oh, yeah, the representative of the Mad Gear gang. Yep. Mad Gear, Mad Damage. Oh, that's true. But um, uh, no leverage of that crash counter for Streezy. Oh, yeah, sadly. I get the reversal, switch corner. Again, crash counter. And getting finally getting a regular hit, proper confirm. Oh yeah, there we go. He gets anti there. Oh yeah, I think Tweezy also got a little bit too hungry for that stun meter. Yeah, he missed that one opportunity. Oh, and activates to stop the time and get an anti air out safely. Very smart of Streezy. Uh, very classic tech for Street Fighter V. It's nice to see it properly utilized. Exactly. Just you put on the V trigger and you have this split second to actually assess what's going on. But there we go. Onke Alex just burning the meter, going yet again for huge yep. damage. Yeah, that's a solid chunk of a life lead. But uh, interestingly enough, he decided to spend all of his meters on the first hit. Yeah. That's and true. again, the Strizzy using uh, the bread and butter stuff. Very nice, very calm play. Yep, V trigger is on. Let's go, boys and yeah. girls. And standing M. Medium kick. And oh, yet gets, again, yet yeah, again gets, too hungry. Gets crash counter. And now Uncle Alex has a bit trigger. And, whoa! Actually, no far confirms, just a V trigger, dash up, and a grab. Yep. Abigail wins. Well, that's Abigail for ya. Well, it's kind of like the run of Cool Kid Alex 93, who <laughs> just. Went through all the Japanese pros, all the American pros, just with Abigail. Like yeah. He eliminated half of the guys who were supposed to win. Uh, I think it was some CPT event, I can't really recall the name. Uh huh. But well, it was there. And yeah. <laughs> but it was before the three and a half patch, so. Yeah, it's all a different game now. Yup, and yet again, uh, really weird, but well, it worked. A really weird show you from Nakali. Yeah, but Strizzy, uh, very on point with the meterless anti air reversal. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, activating. Not a lot of damage, but he gets the corner, and Uncle Alex activates in return. Oh, yeah, exactly. And now, oh, -ho! yet again, the punch. Yep. Hard to do anything when the Kali activates. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But there we go. Two <laughs> flips, two yeah. flips, gave him nothing. Uncle Alex very much uh, focused on those gorilla flips. Exactly, and gorilla moves, and he misses again. Oh, and the Yo. guard gets broken. Yeah. And the bur DP gets baited. I mean, you know, in the world of FGC, actually, there are no drops. Every drop is just a happy little reset. It's yeah, it's it's all resets and hard reads. Yeah, especially with Uncle Alex, his Abigail, and those unblockable moves. Yeah, but look at the meaties from Strizzy. He's just going for uh, a very so like the offense that Strizzy is going for. Very simple, right? Go for the meaty, confirm for another meaty, confirm and another meaty. Yep, 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 but yeah. he's, first of all, he's consistent with that, which is very good for him. And second of all, Uncle Alex doesn't really seem to do anything about it. I mean, I think that Uncle Alex is actually also uh, just pressing too much buttons. Because what he does in the corner is expose Sweezy for really trying to, you know, still, still get yeah. the stance and stuff like that. Yes. But here we are in the, in the mid screen. And actually, it does not work. You shouldn't press anything. Yeah. Now Streezy letting up. Uh, Whoa! Great to go. spacing. Oh, nice dive kick. Yo. And the activation super. into the super. Yeah, but back there, we've seen great spacing from Uncle's Alex Abigail. Yeah. Like he went through all the V skills, just did a good flip, confirmed, and they are back. And speaking, the same line. speaking of confirms. Here comes Streezy, a time it up, one to one. Streezy's performance so far has been really consistent. Yeah, very smart, uh, very smart, Next very solid final, play. I mean, he had the time to learn Next the Kali. That's and, true, the game's been out for two years? Yeah, well, over two years actually, I believe. Oh yeah. 
it's gonna it might even be three years. Street Fighter 5 is out for three years. Yeah. Time flies. Think of that for a second there. We're already past the halfway point of the designated support time for this game. Thanks, Piro. Yep. There we go, what a great read. Swiss just he adjusted to uh, Uncle Alex with his uh, run-ups into grabs yep. and V-trigger, stuff like that. But he didn't adjust to the armor and gets uh, guard broken again. Oh yeah, double cross-up, double cross-up. Double cross up. Oh no, <laughs> that, that, that has recovery, unfortunately. Huh. I'm surprised uh, Abigail can't stand up straight with all the muscles he has. This is true. But there we go! Round start super! Yeah, very nice 300 connects. and something damage. Gets the hit again! All baits the anti-air. Oof. But uh, Uncle Alex gets an opportunity to activate and he takes it. Yup, and there we go, just half, half a health. Just yeah, like tying that. it up. Oh, oh, he no. misses the meaty. Very smart from Streezy, he's adapting. And what else? Is he gonna go for another throw? Yes! Yeah, boys! This time command grab, getting the counter hit, confirming, and another wow. counter hit. Streezy is not letting himself get broken. Yeah. Like, his, his mind is very much in the game, he's in yep. the zone. He's doing the work we met with. Nakali, which is right now, I think, a mid-tier. Uh, mm -hmm. Something like that. So, Street just shows us that, well, you can win, win with anyone. It's not only about the top tier. Yeah. But here comes Uncle Alex with that Abigail damage. This is gonna be, I guess, 400? 400 and a bit? 400 and a bit, yes. Yeah. And yet again, run-up command grab. And actually, so, Uncle Alex takes it. Yeah, Uncle Alex. Well, scratch what I said. Top tiers yeah. are, are, are the only characters that matter. <laughs> yeah. So now Uncle Alex proving to us that DLC is the way to go. Oh yeah, that's true. I wonder how Falk is, uh, how Falk's gonna pan out, you know? Because, well, her animations are, uh, to say it nicely, lacking. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty sure Falk is not going to be one of the stronger characters, just judging from her moveset. She might be one of the decent ones, like upper mid-tier or something, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't uh, put her in high or top tier just based on what we've seen. Of oh, course, yeah. we've seen very little, so I might be very wrong, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, and, uh, and actually she still has like movesets from Ed, for example. Yeah, which is, which is like, uh, well, she has this kind of a... Shotgun, sniper, carbine, rifle thingy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should psycho power? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's her walking stick and she uses her it to channel her power. Oh yeah, yeah. that's true. It's her walking stick and her blind stick. Uh, actually, looking at some moves. And so, uh, I, I'm pretty sure uh, she's gonna be capable, but she doesn't look like anything too strong. I, I would like to read up on how her uh, V-Triggers work, actually, because I missed that part. Uh, I mean, her V-Trigger too, from what I recall, is just damage. That's it. Like the, I know that the second one is supposed to be pure damage, but I'm not sure about the first one. I mean, uh, if the damage is unscaled, then maybe it would be worth it? Uh, maybe, maybe. So anyway, and uh, now that uh, we're having Falke as the next upcoming characters, I wonder if she's gonna have if she's gonna be a more consistent character than Ed is, because uh, a lot of criticism for Ed's design comes from his lack of consistency. He does tend to drop a lot of stuff, and I do say drop um, intentionally, because I, and I do say he intentionally, because sometimes it just seems like the character doesn't hit I instead know. of the player. Uh, Alex, it's a little bit like uh, we can before the match. Yeah. Yeah. Like he also had some weird setups or something that yep. wouldn't be consistent. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, well, what can we say? Just you oh, what to say? Bad design. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know that. You'd have to know what the design was to judge whether it was good or bad. I mean, if they designed the character to be, well, bad, 
Because well, it's just bad. Like the character is lacking. So if the design was mm -hmm. meant for the character to be lacking mm -hmm. and lacking in like things that he really needs, then I still think it's a bad design by choice. Well, yeah, but uh, I mean, we just have a history of uh, the Japanese developers intentionally designing the characters with tier list in mind. In that they actively decide that certain characters are always going to be stronger and certain characters are always going to be weaker. And I don't know the reasoning behind that, so don't get me wrong, I'm not going to judge it. It's just the way that uh, a lot of fighting games are being designed. Actually, I've never heard about it, so uh, that's a cool info to have, I guess. Uh, so, uh, the, the way it's been justified way back when... This, this, the first time I heard about it was something around 2008 or 2007, something like that. So the way it was justified was that um, the stronger characters are used to draw in new players because they can just start playing the game and to perform a little bit better um, compared to their skill level. Whereas the weaker characters are actually designed with uh, top tier players and like uh, dedicated players in mind because they will grind it out and they're gonna bring up the very best of that character. Huh. That's actually interesting, but then again, when when you're a top tier player, when yeah. you're a pro, yeah. what do you want to do? You want to win. Exactly. So if you want to win, yeah. why why pick the low tier? Well, maybe, maybe yes, you. you're not Please a top tier player stage. because you win, but you're a top tier player yes, because you. you can find the good sides to a character that otherwise would seem weak. I mean, let's not forget about the classic example of Shen picking Gen, right? The, the lowest tier characters, the very worst. I mean, the, uh, no, Gen, like a uh, Honda, very bad character. Nobody should play him. And then suddenly it turns out that there are guys in Japan who play Honda, and it's a good character. Yes, he's not top tier, but if you're playing against a good Honda, there's very little you can do. <laughs> Well, sadly, I'm not very, very well versed in Street Fighter Force history, yeah. and I and I wish I would be. <laughs> just, but, uh, just, just you, just you. We need to go on stage. It's it's a long history, and it's very hard yeah. and okay, complicated right, right, okay, to follow, okay. especially you know with the iterations of the game moving on forward, the changes. Like, there are people who will say, you know, all oh, back in the um, arcade edition days, back in Super days, uh, it's it's very hard to keep track of what the game was actually like back in a specific time frame right now. Because um, back in the day, we also had those editions, of course, even in Guilty Gear, you had uh, X2, Reload, Slash, right, and, and, and each one of those was a different game in right and of away. itself, basically. Okay. Uh, but the uh, time frame for releases was uh, usually a bit longer, and it was the case in Street Fighter 4, we'll right about cool a year, a year and a half, something like that. Whereas now, so you can get, like, let's uh, say, two balance patches in a year, and that completely and throws everything out the window. Oh, that's true, that's true. Yeah. And now we, are, we have a match coming up. It's um, going to be our boy, Yashu BC, from Poland. Yeah. He's yes. going to be playing Ken, and we've got another dude. I'm very sorry I forgot the nickname, but I know that he plays Nash. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're having that classic crowd cheering going on. Uh, what? Uh, who you're speaking of is Wincest. 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 Oh. <laughs> okay, so. that's a good nickname. <laughs> so Wincest is an old timer. Uh, he used to play Street Fighter Four religiously, uh, but then he got into Street Fighter Five, and now, as you can see, uh, he can show you uh, what he's made of. Oh yeah, I remember him in the last button check I was at, like two years ago. Yep. Guys, and I think he actually won that over Hyatt. Uh, yep. Oh, and we're starting Dragon Ball soon. Um, that's uh, an Same. info for the players, so, that's really for Street Monsters. We're gonna go with Street Fighter for a little bit before we're gonna move on to the next game. I'm not sure if we're gonna move on to Dragon Ball or to Tekken first. I would assume Tekken, but we'll see. Okay, I'm sorry, he's actually gonna play Belarok. Yeah, why not? There we go, our boy, as you can see. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, should we see a actually just appeared on our Discord one day and suddenly he's like the best can in Poland? Yeah, and it turns <laughs> out he's like a diamond ranked can player. Yeah. When, when he first started playing with us, it was um, obvious that he's uh, a player who started out with Street Fighter V. Uh, by started getting serious with Street Fighter V. He had a lot of Street Fighter centric tech. Uh, and he developed in time. Yeah, I think. Look at those baits, those neutral jumps. Yeah, like, look. I think that Yashu has really impeccable neutral game. And uh, VDV Dom is now uh, backstepping out of the throw range, very smart, punishing Yashu for his trouble and getting sure you can't. <laughs> because, as you can see, well, time to time, I think it's just, it's just the best yeah, to go yeah. Unga. If you're playing Ken, you have to do the sure you can. That's what they're for. DH0 and Haruka Z, station number 7, please. Now Yash blocking just to find a spot and uh, jump back away, getting anti-air, done just a little bit of damage, but here comes the crash counter. and Shady Imposter, Station 8. Yep, as you can see, those, uh, those guys are playing very good neutral, both of them. And very Dom. good jumping from Dom. Dom is now hurt. finding that one spot to jump. Oh yeah, and there oh. we go, what a great block from Yashu. Oh, hey. but... Sadly. Now Dom with the dominant round. Oh, oh. Let's see how Yash is gonna adapt. So far Yash has been playing defensively, very much so. And uh, he's been looking to jump in or a step kick in. But Dom's been very good at uh, just keeping him out yeah, with the buttons. Yeah, look at that, what a great, great block into punish, into corner. I don't think that's super stun, but we're very, very no, close to the stun. It's, it's not gonna stun. I'm not sure if going for super was the best Yo! option, but as Yashu can show us, it indeed was. There we go. So the guys are jumping up and down like the jumping Jews of Jerusalem. Wow. And, <laughs> and we're having an actual match, right? We're having rounds for rounds. Let's go. Now it's Dom's turn to adjust and adapt. Nice throw tag. Oh, and finally the neutral jump pays off for Yashu. Yo, and there we go, a very good frame trap. Yashu with the sure you can, yeah. the fake cross up, combo and to the corner, great corner carry. And Yashu, Yashu wants this is escaping the stun and putting the stun on his opponent. Going in. Oh no! Dropping it. And it's Dom's time to fight back overhead. Yashu very upset with his performance right now. That last drop is so nice crucial. The worst thing for Yashu right nice now would be. Would be just cracking under pressure, you know? Yep, yep. He needs to really chill out, get his game back on track. Yeah, but right now he is playing Dom's game. Look at those anti airs, those single hits, they already the amount to so much damage. Yeah, and especially where Dom is actually keeping him at the distance that, that, that yep. Badrock is comfortable with. Yep, exactly. You can see the, that. Both players do know their characters very well, they yep. really, really, really know the spacing. Yes, you're right. And uh, it's, that was actually the turning point in the match when Yashu started playing Dom's game and Dom was so comfortable just sitting back. I think, uh, I think the turning point was when Yashu dropped. That too, of course, that was very important. Uh, getting the hit from uh, the alpha counter, again the uh, heavy kick hit from the neutral jump. But Yashu can score a hit every once and again, can't really turn it into a consistent offense. And there we go, Yashu finally back on the offensive. Sadly, he misses the midi. Yes, nice anti-air, crouching fears, very good choice, but uh, the follow-up isn't there. 
and again with the neutral jump ready with the block Yashu is so that's good for him and gets the jumping but no confirm Yashu is very reliant on this neutral jump medium kick. Yep. And it's a good choice, but Dominic, it, Dom just doesn't oh! bite. Because time to time you just need to go Unga. Opens up Yashu, but then Dom yes! just goes for the throw. <laughs> and the back throw seals the deal. Now we're having a final round. Oh my okay. This was an amazing was scramble back there into the corner. Yep. Station five. Yo! Oh. Reversal super, that's not gonna go. Oh no. And there we go, Dom is again playing his game. We've Tough got a son, I think that might kill. Yep. See the, the turning point in that match. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd, as always, is very supportive. Oh yeah. <laughs> so see, uh, the thing was, in that very last round, Actually, a Dom's jumping Dracula beat uh, Yashu's uh, crouching five. fears. And that Dracula was that point where Dom got five. the confirm, got the conversion, and Yashu was left with a very little help. I think that the, I think the fact that this situation a actually came to be, Guys, yeah, that, well, uh, a jumping beats an entire, I think this is, st this is the statement of Street Fighter V state right now. Sadly. Oh, you can you always use a different move. You can always try to go for a metered reversal. You can, well, I wouldn't say block is an option. Yeah. Block definitely is a bad choice here. Especially but. in Street Fighter V. Yeah. But yeah, but hey, look, here Yashi, like we can see he was really trying to put on yeah. pressure, but then again Don, he always found this one moment where he could stick out his uh, fears and there Don we go. Don definitely was the more patient one and in this matchup against Ken it's also very important, but in Street Fighter V in general, uh, playing defensively is rewarded unless you're um, strictly under pressure. That's when it's best to try and find a way to jab out or maybe alpha counter out or whatever. But if you're playing in neutral, it's always uh, good to uh, just uh, leave a little bit of space to your opponent and respond. Next spiral on, oh, yeah, on stage, please. <laughs> AFK and next spiral on stage, And that was a very unfortunate reversal super. Um, look at that, look at that. Yeah. That was that moment where uh, Yashu was on point with the anti-air, but not this time, not under this circumstances, that didn't I mean, work. This is... this... Uh, uh, this, this should not happen. This was a good anti-air. An anti-air, which hit an air move, and the anti-air lost. So, what you're saying is, uh, it would be better if Street Fighter V had a... a, rever a an anti-move property, right? So if you would have yeah, a dedicated anti air like in a different game that we might know right of, it would always Thank win you. in aerial to ground scenario. I think it should. Yes. Oh, fair enough. Um, basically, uh, what it, how it works right now is that it's just a, an advantageous hitbox that should hit a jumping attack, but there's no real invincibility like you have in Guilty Gear, for example. Just um, Guilty Gear also has no real invincibility. Well, no, it, it has in that uh, you have no hurt box on an entire move uh, in an upper body section of the character. Well, it's still not, for example, I don't think that uh, it's true. Like, uh, it's, not, it's not true invincibility, like for example, Blaze Blue. It's not full invincibility, but uh, with uh, an upper body invincibility uh, fixed by not having a hurt box, it just works better. Wow. It's not... It's, it's a tool, and whether or not you implement it in your game is up to you. I mean, Street Fighter simply has its own quirks, and you got to know them to play it properly. Oh, You're finally! Right here. Oh, yeah, we're, we're having Urian versus Nash. Yeah, we're having the very first Urian of the match. Urian setups can get sick. Yep. Like, this character is really fun to watch. Oh yes, one of the more fun characters to watch in Street Fighter V. He did get a few changes back uh, in the 3.5 patch, but 
let's see how he looks like now. Uh, I missed, yeah, 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 so he went with the uh, V-Trigger 1, the spiral against AFK. I whiffed the crouching medium. Oh yeah, and there we go. AFK going straight in. Mounting the pressure, uh, but going for the throw, and Dex Pyro was ready with the tank. Oh, yeah. But here we go. Dex Pyro going with that classic first strike. Yes. Costume for Urien. Yes. And the tackle gets the counter hit. Nothing more, though. And the reversal. The reversal head, but no follow up, which is interesting. Oh, yeah. That was a very good use of V Trigger from yeah. Nash. And here it comes. What's gonna be the setup next? Oh, he oh whiffed. actually no setups. AFK ain't got it. Yeah, well he got he went for the throw, but uh, AFK was ever so slightly out of range. And again with the throw tech, uh, yeah. Dex Spyro on point. Except for that one time <laughs> where it really, really mattered. That's but, true, but yet again from AFK we can see that uh, well uh, he he does read the throws. Yeah, but interestingly enough, AFK is still going for more throws. So he's unfazed by the fact that the X-Pyro is very on point with his throw decks. Oh yeah, that's true. And there we go, there we go. So close to corner, but puts himself in it. And now AFK mounting a pressure and putting himself in the corner in due process. Oh, crossed himself up. And so AFK is still getting uh, that live lead ever so bigger, uh, but Dex Spiral with the reversal headbutt ties it up actually. Six, yep. yep. And he tried to mix over up. And straight to bat. Actually, it didn't work. No. Oh, no, that was a bad idea. You can't really use those. And a nice, very simple jump in Fierce to uh, seal the deal. Uh, do the shields actually reflect projectiles? Yes. Yes, you could have seen it, but it was very quick yeah, in the yeah. last round that AFK tried to use a projectile, it simply bounced off. I'm not sure if bouncing off a projectile uses up the shield's hit now. So that's something to take note of. Yeah, I think it, it might. There we go, very good pressure from Dex Pyro. That's right. He is coming for that win. Still and very patient. Yeah, look at Dex Pyro, very patient. He doesn't have to press buttons and he knows it. Yeah, so. because, well, the life is pretty huge. Yeah. There we go, great, great progress. Light, progress. light, a projectile just to keep it different. And an EX1. Because only one hit was needed. Yep. Look at that smile. <laughs> this boy got a smile. A smile every third strike player could love. <laughs> That's oh, wakes eighties. up with the jab. Nice. Very bold of him, but uh, it's uh, working out. Yep. Crouching strong. Somebody please pull There you go, there you go. Okay, and next knee. Uh, here is an interesting decision. There we go. Great V trigger is from that. And the EX head, but again, he didn't block it once. Unfortunately, AFK with no baits for the EX head, but is suffering. Oh yeah, but there we go. AFK goes back on track. You need one hit, and Dex Pyro makes the wrong yeah. decision. Yeah, with the knees going right into a projectile. There we go, AFK is still trying to contest Urian's projectiles. Yeah, but right now he's adapting, doing the moonsault to go over the second hit. Oh, and yeah. an anti-air moonsault, you don't see those very often, but they do work. AFK uh, mounting a pressure with the EX Fireball. Oh, uses the V-Trigger to get a throw off. Put Dex Pyro close to the corner. 
and a nice jump back uh, uh, a roundhouse to hit the X Pyro out of the knees. There we go. Oh my uh, god, what a read! Yet again into mix ups. Yeah. Yo, AFK on those last frames, it does not matter because Pyro got the mix ups and got the damage. That's Match right. point for Pyro. So, uh, Pyro very smart with the throws. Uh, both guys are actually very much reliant on throws, and I gotta say, it's been paying off for both of them. Um, more so for Dex Pyro, though. Oh yeah, and there we go, yet again, the reversal. Yet again, the reversal headbutt. As we can see, AFK is a, li a little bit scared. Yep. He, he really gives back space to Pyro. Yeah, but uh, a back jump this time oh, pays off. Another moonsault. Oh yeah, but a great protect from Urien. There we go, now Now Urien is trying to to assess the situation. What should, what should he do? What are his resources? Yep. And he's very, very close to gaining his V trigger, and he has it, so I'm gonna expect a mix up city soon. Ha. And that's okay. what's happening. Yeah, and Into there we the go. Mirror. Let's go. Combos, babies, and Pyro takes and it. That's it. So, uh, for all of you uh, watching after this, uh, we're gonna have a one a Street Fighter V match more. And then uh, we're transitioning to Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh yeah. So we're gonna have the ooh we nice a, super dash. We have an internet yes, issue. We will take a break and now. Okay, so just to bring you all up to speed, we're taking a break now to try and fix the internet issue. Please stay put. It's gonna take a few minutes, but uh, we'll be back. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching and take care. Yeah.